Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to install the Arduino IDE onto a Raspberry Pi. Now you can install the Arduino IDE just by typing sudo apt install Arduino but that gives you a really old version and I'd highly recommend following the technique I'm about to show you because that will give you the latest version with all the features. Um, this is much better if you want to add support for other boards. I use the IDE with the Arduino Nano and this ESP01 which is based on the ESP8266 family of devices and that's much easier to do if you're using the latest version. So to start off with, you want to make sure that you're using the latest version of Raspberry Pi OS with desktop. Obviously the IDE is graphical, so you're going to want a desktop. Um, I'm using this one dated December the 2nd. Obviously pick up whichever's the, the latest one at the time. Um, much easier to follow tutorials, etc. if you've got the latest version of the operating system. Um, once you've done that, Fire up your browser and head over to the Arduino website, which is arduino.cc, which should give you this. And then under software, you can go to their downloads page. And give that a few seconds. Now you'll see here I'm presented with version 1.8.13. You may see a slightly different version, obviously. Um, and what you're really after is the downloads on this right hand section here and what you want for the Raspberry Pi is the Linux ARM 32-bit. Really important you get the ARM version because the Raspberry Pi is ARM based. So you want to click on that and that will take you to this donation page. Obviously if you can donate, brilliant. Um, they probably deserve a donation given how useful the software is. If you're not ready to donate at this time then just click just download. And what you see here in the bottom left hand corner uh, the files downloading it's about 92 megabytes in size um, and you just need to wait for that to complete and that's almost there and we're almost there and then one okay so once that's downloaded and you've got the file you want to head into a terminal window and you want to make sure that you're in the home directory so I'm going to do that and I'm going to do a quick ls and that looks like the pi home directory to me so then I'm going to navigate into the downloads folder which is there and do another ls and there is the file that we've just downloaded not surprisingly now what you'll notice is the file name includes the version Again, pay attention to the version. It might be different by the time you download it, but the technique's the same. And what we're going to do is extract that tar uh, archive to this location. Um, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to actually just press tab. And pressing tab will just auto complete it and saves me having to type that out again keep an eye on the version uh, number because yours might be different. So I've got tar-xf and then the file name and I'm going to press return and this may, you know, it generally takes uh, you know, one, one or two minutes. So what this would do is once it's extracted it will extract all the files from the archive into a folder and the folder will be named arduino dash 1.8.13 or whatever your version number is um, and that folder will be in the downloads like uh, the downloads folder and um, now some tutorials tend to just plow ahead with the setup from that point but it doesn't mean that your Arduino IDE software is then stuck in your downloads folder which isn't a great place for it so what we're going to do is is once it's finished extracting all the files into the folder we're going to move that folder into the opt directory which is a better place to store uh, additional applications and sort of add-on software so once this is finished the next command we'll run is to move the entire folder into the opt folder so there we go it's finished I'll just do an ls and there you can see we've got the original uh, tar file we downloaded 
plus also the new directory that contains all the software. But what we are going to do is we're going to move that folder and I'll use tab there just to auto complete that and we're going to move it to opt and there we go it's moved um, and I'm just going to ls in the downloads folder and you can see that folder has now disappeared uh, because it's now appeared in opt and there we go it's in opt so what we're now going to do is we are going to run again use tab to auto complete that we are going to run the install script that is in the Arduino folder which is in the opt folder because we've just moved it there so this is basically going to say using sudo permissions run the install script in the opt Arduino folder and this then is going to um, add basically menu items to the Raspberry Pi menu up in the uh, top left hand corner here and there we have it okay so at the bottom it says it's done you do sometimes get this error message here where it complains about this mime apps.list file don't know why it does that doesn't seem to make any difference just ignore it um, I'm now going to exit the terminal window and what you're going to do now is to go up to the Raspberry Pi logo, pull down the programming section, and there we have a new link to Arduino IDE. And if you click that, you'll get the Arduino IDE splash screen, and it will run through its initialization steps. Um, where it's going to take a few take a few seconds. How long this takes depends on. The, what Pi you're using and the speed of your SD card. This will then launch the Arduino IDE, which if you used it before you will recognize. Here we go. And if I go to help about Arduino, it comes up with the splash screen and you can see the version here is 1.8.13, which is what we were expecting. And obviously within the IDE, you can then go ahead and create your sketches. Um, it's worth noting under preferences, that is where you can add additional URLs to pull in support for additional um, boards. Um, it's something you have to do if you use um, any 8266 based devices, you'll need to put in a URL here. And this is something that it's much better to have the latest version because in the the old 1.6 version I don't think this setting was even here so it became a bit of a pain to try and add support for other devices. Um, also you note here this is the default location it's going to use to save sketches so once you start programming stuff that's where it's going to save uh, these sketches to. Um, and just a last thing under tools board this is where you select what board you're using so I often use the Arduino Nano um, and Boards Manager is when you would then end up adding support for other types of um, device. Um, obviously once you've selected your uh, your type of device you know there's other settings here that you have to um, you have to set up but obviously that's slightly outside the scope of this um, this tutorial. So at this point you've now got the ability to run the latest version of the Arduino IDE on your Raspberry Pi. So thanks for watching this video. If you found this useful and you've got this far and you're happy, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for any uh, new videos I might do. They're always going to be um, on this channel, always going to be related to the Raspberry Pi in some way or another. So, um, so that would be appreciated if you could do that. So until the next video, thank you for watching and take care.